Let's go. And we will see. Tuesday, the 18th day of April 2023, and this is your live boy today. Your live boy today wants to discuss the danger of stubbornness. That is, there is something that may not be wholesome about being stubborn, being obstinate, holding on only to your views, not reasoning with others. Well, let's go find out as we read from the scriptures in Judges. Yesterday we read chapter 11, today we are reading from chapter 12. If you are set, let's go. The men of Euphraim were called to arms, and they crossed to Zaphon and said to Jephthah, Why did you cross over to fight against the Ammonites, and did not call us to go with you? We will burn your house over you with fire. And Jephthah said to them, I and my people had a great feud with the Ammonites, and when I called you, you did not deliver me from their hands. And when I saw that you would not deliver me, I took my life in my hand and crossed over against the Ammonites, and the Lord gave them into my hands. Why then have you come up to me this day to fight against me? Then Jephthah gathered all the men of Gilead and fought with Ephraim, and the men of Gilead smote Ephraim, because they said, You are fugitives of Ephraim, you Gileadites in the midst of Ephraim and Manasseh. And the Gileadites took the fords of the Jordan against the Euphraimites. And when any of the fugitives of Euphraim said, Let me go over, the man of Gilead said to him, Are you an Ephraimite? And when he said, No, they said to him, Then say, Shiboleth. And he said, Siboleth, for he could not pronounce it right. Then they seized him and slew him at his fords of the Jordan. And there fell at that time 42,000 of the Ephraimites. Jephthah judged Israel six years. Then Jephthah the Gileadite died and was buried in a city in Gilead. After him, Ibza of Bethlehem judged Israel. He had 30 sons and 30 daughters. He gave a marriage outside his clan, and 30 daughters he brought in from outside for his sons. And he judged Israel seven years. Then Ibzan died and was buried at Bethlehem. After him, Elon, the Zebul, Night judged Israel, and he judged Israel ten years. Then Elon the Zebunite died and was buried at Ajalon in the land of Zebulon. After him, Abdon, the son of Hillel, the Parthonite, judged Israel. He had forty sons and thirty grandsons who rode on seventy asses, and he judged Israel eight years. Then Abdon, the son of Hillel, the 
Paranothanite died and was buried at Pyrothon in the land of Ephraim, in the hill country of the Amalekites. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now the Ephraimites called Jephthah for not involving them in the war with the Ammonites and threatened to destroy him and his house with fire. Jephthah replied that when he called for them for help when he was fighting the Ammonites, they were not interested in being of any form of assistance to him. And so it was improper for them to come out to fight against him. Since there was no resolution in the matter due to the stubbornness of the Euphraimites, then Jephthah mustered the Gileadites and defeated Euphraimites, killing over 42,000 at the fords of Jordan. After judging Israel for six years, then Jephthah died. How often had people boasting over their dead body would one thing happen or the other? And quite a number of uh, such occurrences end up with the dead body of those people and uh, after the dead body then uh, what they were so stubborn about will still go on eventually what matters to you in this situation is that you should always check what is the holy spirit counseling you to do what would god want you to do if jesus christ were the one in the kind of situation that you find yourself can you find any parallel in the gospel of how he handled such a situation and how do you think he will still handle the situation today without being stubborn without being stupid at the same time but knowing what you will do at the appropriate time remember that the promise of the holy spirit concerning you is that the holy spirit will comfort you and teach you what to say at any point in time and the Holy Spirit will guide you into taking the best of decisions without being unnecessarily stubborn. You know, the Bible is also clear in Proverbs 29 1, that he who is often rebuked and stiffens his neck will be broken and that without remedy. I pray that that will not be your own situation in Jesus' name. So, it means you must be in Christ. Are you in Christ or are you still stubbornly staying out of a proper relationship with Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to send an inv invitation to you right now because I don't want destruction for you. I don't want you to lose your life. I don't want you to lose so many other things around you. And so, are you responding to this invitation right now or you still want to hold on to your stubbornness? I would rather that you just respond right now. And how do you go about that? Just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I also want to avoid the danger of stubbornness that's why I'm coming to you and I'm accepting you as Lord and Savior. Forgive me of all the sins of the past and let me be one with you today. I pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So you are welcome to the faith of Christ. You need to find a Bible-believing church where you can grow in the faith and know uh, the more how to handle situations of stubbornness so that you don't ever fall into the danger of stubbornness. So I always invite that um, I always invite people to come join us at the Anglican Church of Okia City Extension Oshobo. For now, we are still in the Chapel Hall of the o o Olive Branches Middle High Schools, Onyiko and Gokimi Warden Drive, Okia City Extension Oshobo. You can join us every Tuesday, like today, 5 o'clock in the late afternoon, for our Bible study, and on Sundays, 9 o'clock in the morning, for our regular Sunday services. And on the screen right now you should be seeing the bank account details of the church where you can partner with us even as we build our own permanent church building where together we can learn the more about dangers of stubbornness and i want to just appeal to you perhaps you've been listening to this uh, appeal two three four days weeks before now I do not want you to get into the danger of stubbornness. Just partner with us. And it will be well with you. God bless you. And as you go out today now, everyone, let's say this prayer together. Say, Lord, may your grace be sufficient for me to settle any dispute that I may have with anybody peacefully without falling into any danger of stubbornness. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So go out today. Watch out for stubbornness. It has its own dangers. I pray that 
that will not be your lot. God bless you. Amen.